sunny, gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, glowing post sunrise in the greater Marysville metropolitan area in the great state of Michigan. This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell notification and infiltrate other stations while you sidestep. Overt and Silvert, those Silverters and Overters, the charlatans. Oh, yes, the criminal gangster cartel, the, yes, the Ohio State University, brother. And sidestep and audible them with Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing uh, with a one-of-a-kind company-made computer software probability-based trading alert and technical analysis uh, to profitability. And you see here on this update, we got the do or the Bitcoin started to pump a little bit. And you've seen somebody bought 143 Bitcoin, 146 Bitcoin right there on that big one minute candlestick. So that's bullish. That I mean, that was actually a nice buy. So somebody bought a lot of Bitcoin there and it's pumped the price up about $3,000 from its low right here with our industry exclusive measuring tool. It's pumped the price up about $1,669, um, a nice pump, almost 2%. And we're looking for some follow through. We're not seeing the follow through yet down here. But if we can start getting another couple big candlesticks in the minute time frame, and then we go out to the five minute time frame, and you can see we got a little cluster, a little cluster here, a bigger cluster here. If we can start getting some more clusters, you could pump this price up a little bit, right? Um, so if we zoom on out in a super simple, easy way, a logical spot like we talked about earlier, if we pumped up, we could try to get into these moving averages up here. And if we start to scroll down, you can see Bitcoin dominance continues to fall because there's so many coins out there. The luster is going away from Bitcoin. But if you go to the XRP, you can see the same thing could happen in XRP on the pump up. We went over that earlier. The Dogecoin, the same thing. Dogecoin could get up there at 27 cents. Uh, some of these other coins have already did that. Ethereum's getting close. Uh, the Litecoin could go up here too. The CELO has already got there. And now we're going to see if we can get to that arrow that we put there, our industry exclusive arrow where our heavily manipulated crash would come on CELO because that's major overhead resistance. But CELO's got there. Quant hasn't got there yet. We think it's going to come down to that blue 50-day moving average. And you could bounce for a double top. Uh, Digibyte hasn't got there yet, but it could. It's almost there. Ethereum Classic is way under it. H bars got there already. H bars, what I thought Ethereum Classic and the rest of these with the ECH bar got way up there. You see, it took that nice pump from down there. Um, Algo, I got somebody asking for Algo. Uh, it superseded the maximum intensity here. So that was a phenomenal pump. And again, just like yesterday, you can see back here our old high. This is major overhead resistance. Put our little price note here right there you can see we just got above that there you're asking for technical analysis on algo and i said yesterday on this big candle wick here i said sell and take profit because it was up about 40 percent on the day right but now here i would be taking profit again if i took profit yesterday on that candlestick i'd be taking if i took profit here some of it yesterday and i still have some here i'd be taking more profit right but what I would expect now is you got major underneath uh, resistance and you're testing that right here at the $2 mark. And if you fall below that, I would say you're going to come back down here, right? And then that looks like you're forming a head and shoulders where a left shoulder, maybe a topping pattern, and then a right shoulder, and then a neckline. And this would be the targeted move, right? Bring that to the point of a breakout. And that would bring you back down to $1.87. This could be a topping pattern forming an algo. Pay attention to how it interacts with your major now underneath support that it's touching. That was your old overhead resistance from two, the last big high a couple of years ago. So watch to see if you can bounce off of that $1.90 and shoot up. Or if this is a head and shoulders topping reversal pattern and you start to trade down towards the target to move down here, right? Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Subscribers, yes, you. It's up to you to push me up to 1,000 subscribers. Peace and love. Peace and love.